Chapter 38 deals with a different kind of song, whereas 37 dealt with the romantic lead or the art song. In chapter 38, we start looking at popular songs, specifically popular song from America from the 19th century. Um, this is kind of a hard subject to talk about, I have to admit, because we're dealing with music that comes from the minstrelsy tradition or the minstrelsy entertainment form of the 1800s. Minstrelsy kind of popped up around the 1840s, and it was America's single most uh, form of entertainment and popular music um, up until the 1920s and 30s. Um, and it's kind of, I mean, it's a hard, hard history to talk about, right? Minstrelsy is where um, the tradition is. White performers black themselves up, overemphasizing their lips and other facial features, uh, or the facial features of African Americans. And they play two different characters, or types of characters. The kind of southern slave, plantation slave, uh, and then the northern kind of um, butler or Uncle Tom kind of character. Neither one are very pretty, neither one are very uh, um, nice depictions. They're caricatures, they're stereotypes. Um, and it's hard to think that this was the type of music or the type of entertainment that was so popular um, in our country for almost a century. In fact, if you want to look at how popular it was, the very first film that had talking in it, what we call a talkie, right? It's called The Jazz Singer. And The Jazz Singer is, is played by a very famous uh, actor named Al Jolson. And for 65% of the movie, he's in blackface. White Jewish guy from the Bronx trying to dress himself up to look African American. Um, that's the first movie that had talking in it. That's how popular it still was, even in the time of early film. And really, this this style of music, they traveled all over the country, right? And and kind of gave the country its first uh, comedy routines. In fact, you know one of its most famous jokes. Why did the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? That was a joke from this minstrelsy tradition. You know songs by Stephen Foster, the composer of this chapter. Oh, Susanna, what da -da 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 -da, right? Super kind of cheesy southern banjo tune, right? Um, and other tones, like a parlor song, like Jeannie with the Light Brown Hair. These were super popular, super popular in this minstrelsy tradition, and they were carried all over the country, kind of like radio before there was radio. So people in Tennessee, as well as in Georgia, as well as in Oklahoma and Wyoming, potentially, or at least the territory, territories, got to hear this entertainment and hear this music. And it kind of created a cultural or nationwide uh entertainment consciousness. So even though the history is a little dark, it's a little heavy, it's a little sad, uh, it's still important that we talk about it and we see it because it does directly impact the evolution of Western classical music.